Hi everybody, um, today it's another tutorial, uh, today we will build uh, what I call a Tigron coil because it's uh, pretty much um, a Tiger coil on steroids with a few upgrades, um, alright, and uh, in a moment you will see what you will need. To do this build, uh, a little warning, uh, this is for elite builders, for people who are really used to play with uh, wires, uh, if you have no idea what you're seeing or you don't know what you're seeing, that means keep on watching it and learning about it, but don't attempt it. And uh, on the other end, it's mostly for you guys uh, in need of inspiration, who have skills, uh, this is for you guys. Try this, you will see it's a beautiful coil, beautiful colors, it looks amazing, it tastes amazing, and you will see in a moment, uh, it clouds pretty awesome. Alright, so uh, we'll see each other pretty soon. And actually, this build should be around 0 0.2 Ohm. Alright, so see you in a bit. Alright, we're back. Um, this is what we will need uh, to make this uh, Tigron build. I call it the Tigron, by the way, because uh, it's pretty much a tiger coil that we're gonna pip the shit out of uh, to make it a lot more flavorful. So, now, what we will need is, as for wire, we're gonna make a clapton out of 30 and 32 that we're gonna coil parallel with that lovely Tigron which is gonna be uh, core is gonna be a point five and um, on this one we're gonna make a dual core so we're gonna stack two of those 0 0.5 and we will clap them at 38 gauge over that uh, stack ribbon once we have this done, we gonna twist it with that 26 gauge. Um, we will need a natty, a natty with decent post hold. In that case, gonna be the velocity with the tool for the natty. You're gonna need a wicking tool. We gonna use a three millimeter drill bit. Need some tweezers, scissors in case. And of course we will try on this one some Fiber Freaks. Um, they came out with uh, that uh, pretty neat cotton. They came already cut in tiny little pieces like this. That's pretty neat. So let's do this guys. See you in a sec. Alright, okay guys, uh, something I forgot <coughs> to mention is uh, you will need a tiny piece of tape because when you stack ribbons, it's always good to actually secure the, the two piece that goes in the chuck. Alright, so now, and another tool we'll need, it's a drill of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys expected that. That's why I didn't put it in what you will need. Because for the builds I do, you usually need a drill. All right, so now let's start this. So what I'm doing is I took the two pieces of ribbon, stack ribbon, put in the truck. I got my uh, clapping wire which is 38 gauge. Alright, so now let's put this into my tube. And again guys, that tube is to avoid the wire to spin out of control all over the place.
because they actually place themselves up. Now my chuck has broken, <laughs> but I'm glad I'm at the end, totally, totally at the end. So now we have our stack ribbon clapton with 38, all right. And what's pretty cool is that uh, you don't need to untwist it because uh, ribbon gets back to its original shape. So it's nice and straight. All right. And uh, I pre straighten a piece of 30 gauge about. 40 centimeter long again I always do at least one extra coil length so uh, in case something happen always have a tiny little piece and uh, if you don't use it you can do just like I do you put it in a scrap wire little box and once in a while you can make one of those scrap wire builds that is pretty freaking awesome. Even with those clapton, I always put it in a tube to avoid it spinning out of control all over the place and it's free to go where it wants at will. So let's do this clapton. I gotta cut it right here for the purpose of the video. It's getting pretty long. All right, so now, once we have done uh, this, we're done with pretty much the claptoning. So what we will do now, it's gonna be um, twist a piece of 26. First of all, we're gonna cut, let's say, pretty much the same length as the ribbon clapton that we just previously did. So now I'm gonna cut this. And we're gonna have to straighten that piece of wire. All right, that's pretty simple, guys. I'm pretty sure if you don't know how to straighten a wire, you can't build this build because uh, that's pretty one of the first thing you learn into building is how to straight a wire. So remember guys, if you don't have the proper skills to do these type of builds, watch the video if you want but don't attempt it until you have the proper knowledge. All right, very important because safety is first all the time. So now what we will do is take both wire, both Clapton and 26 gauge, not the Clapton, just a plain 26 gauge. What we will do is to give it like a few wrap around it so it bites good to the chuck all right simple as this now we put it into the chuck and again for people who are wondering why these type of build are they just pretty no they taste amazingly good because more surface more crack more place that the juice can get into better it's gonna be all right that's why i do these type of builds so now 
Once it's in the chuck, you're gonna need those lovely little pliers here. We won't need this anymore. All right. And what you're gonna do is to make sure that it's nice and straight and there's no loop whatsoever into it. All right, let me put it there. All right, there's no loop whatsoever and it bites very tight to it, all right? Once you got it, then you can start going slowly. Slowly. Make sure it goes nice and even. Don't pull too hard on it because it's gonna break, all right? And you keep on going and going and going until it gets tighter, tighter. You know you don't need to go you don't want to go too far also all right very important because you're gonna break the wires because you got to remember that the tiny little clapton that uh, I mean that uh, ribbon there's too thick and also there's a tiny 38 coil on it so more you tight it more you create a pressure so you might break the tiny little wire so you got to be careful with that so now we got our pretty wire all right let's me try to show you what it looks like anyway you know what I'll take a few uh, pictures of it so I can show it to you and after that we will coil those two together. See you in a moment. All right, we're back. So now what we'll need is a three millimeter screwdriver or drill bit and our two wires. So now, what we will do is to place the clapton on the outside, all right? Because with the clapton, we will do one extra wrap. Uh, we're gonna do five wraps. Once we reach the fifth, we take the clapton only and we do an extra wrap with the clapton. Alright, so now it's nice. We will take our cutters. Where did I put my cutters? Here's my cutters. Alright. And we will go ahead and put it in our eddy. And I just love the velocity deck. All right. That's tight. This is the positive. Now, before tightening the negative, we will just pull on it to make sure everything is nice and tight and even. This is gonna be a big boy, guys. So, uh, for builds like this, you need to use the proper mod because it probably will be pretty low. It's 
nice and tight. I'll take the screwdriver out of the way. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, once we got this, we can we can cut the leads. All right. Okay, we'll come back to it and fix it after. Since I got a second, where is my second? Since I got a second, I will do it on the second screwdriver. So now, let's take this. And again, you got to take your clapton and put it first. Five again. And as you go, you gotta make sure it's nice and tight and even because that's the thing. As soon as you coil it, it's very hard after that to make it nice and even and nice and tight. You see, this is what we will get. Pretty nice. So now, see, when you got an eddy like this, you always have like um, the one the one below, the one below, it's actually the one where you have to pre-cut your wire because it's gonna be harder to go uh, and reach this. So it's this side, so let's make it pretty short. Yeah. The first coil, it's always easy to mount. It's always a second that gives you a little trouble. This and let's put this one in. Okay, have a key. Where are you? <laughs> Always looking for those damn Allen keys. And you know what, companies? You gotta start making better uh, nuts. Better nuts and better Allen key because you know, you're dealing with heat here. And with heat, once you heat up a bolt or heat up uh, something like an Allen key, the metal become very freaking soft. And guess what happened? Yeah. You screw up your nuts all the time or your so your allen key so now again you make sure before you tie the second one that they're nice and tight and then you can go ahead and tight it Now you gotta make sure that uh, you have nothing touching because if you look below here, you know you might have a lead touching the coil. So you gotta always take like a flat screwdriver, and I flat it just like to make it flush with uh, the post. side you're gonna have to try to push your coil a little bit to give you a little room so you can go and cut this <laughs> that's another thing with those cutters you know those tiny uh, 
cutters that you can cut so close to the post. Man, you can't cut bigger wire than freaking 26 gauge with it. And I can't understand this. Why can you send a man to the moon and can't make a fucking pair of cutters that can cut bigger than freaking 26 gauge? To me, like <laughs> that's a big joke. That's a that's a scam. Those uh, little uh, those little things. All right. So now, what I what I like to do is to fix it, make it nice and tight, and. I don't know about you guys, but when I make builds like this, I always like to put my coil in a tiny little angle. Alright. So now, let's fix this, let's put it on the Addy and fix it. And again, with um, builds like this, uh, don't be uh, surprised if uh, the homing is very low. Um, a lot of things can, that's why you need to be careful when you use a, a mod for these things. Um, when you'll start fixing it, you gotta be very careful because since there's ribbon, ribbon singe, so your coil's gonna move. It might uh, just do a short, and there you go, your build is gone. So that's why it's very important to make sure that everything is double checked before you fire it. All right, because all that work is gonna be for nothing. All right. That one, I think I made those pretty close to the post, and they're so big, I'm just afraid they will touch a little. Anyway, we'll see. All right, uh, let's take a mod for this. First of all, I'll put it on uh, my X cube to see how low it is because that's the thing when I build coils like this. I never have like a gnome target in mind or anything like that. I just go along as a, after I always check how low it is just to make sure I will spark it safely and uh, if it's too low I will use uh, the proper mod for it. You see this one is not too low. This one registered at uh, point 23 and uh, it will probably gonna drop 2.2 once I start uh, fixing so let's fix it and I'll always start very at a uh, pretty low wattage just to make sure like it doesn't go crazy like right now I'm at 30 watt 35 watts and on top of it you can see all those nice colors change give it a nice shot because to do colors you fix it at uh, lower wattage and once you're there once there's no short you put it right up and you give it one single shot like this and you let it go and you can't see the colors I don't know if you can see it well on the camera there but I will take some macro shot of it Let's keep fixing it a little bit. Turn it down. I'll put it like to about 50 watts. guys gonna freaking enjoy this uh, beautiful uh, stage heating coil it's a beauty like this I 
How pretty is this, eh? So yeah, I'll see you back up there. This, this is what I will use. Fiber Freaks, uh, it's new, it's like they made little wicks, little uh, mesh wicks. There are 20 in a pack and uh, they work pretty awesome. I really like it. All right, so let's try this. Look how pretty they are. Pretty neat, pretty neat, I like it. And the way they're made, it's pretty cool because they fit pretty much any builds. Like uh, even if you use, like see this one is a 3 millimeter, it's just perfect. If I use a bigger one, I would probably like put it like in half like this and try to wick it with it. But uh, you see this is 3, three millimeter. I tried it in 2 millimeters and 1 millimeter. I didn't even have to cut this because as you pull, it kind of adjusts into the diameter of uh, the, 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 the coil. You see this one, it doesn't stretch much because it's pretty much it's, uh, it's maximum uh, size like uh. Alright, so as usual, all we need is for the wick to just rub the bottom of the well. And again, the reason why for this it's if there's too much cotton at the bottom of your well, the juice won't naturally go up, you know? It will it will be attracted by the bottom where the most juice is at. So um, by doing so, just like this, as soon as uh, the juice gonna get in contact with the wick at the bottom of the well, it's gonna soak in right away and start moving up to the coil. And on top, it gives you plenty of room for airflow to uh, go around your coil. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give a call to those guys at Fiber Freaks because I kind of like. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I see just touching the bottom of the well. So, yeah, what am I gonna use for juice today? All right, today I'm gonna use some U turn. U turn, U turn, white hot chocolate. That actually tastes like, um, uh, after a chocolate, you know, like with a minty taste, it's pretty good, pretty good. I would have had like mint to the name, because uh, if you expect white chocolate, you might be disappointed. But if you get the after eight uh, kind of minty chocolate, hmm, then my friend, you will be satisfied to the max. I just love this liquid. Pretty much every U-turn liquid, guys. It's a premium liquid. They got like pre. They got like what? Uh, I'm not sure how many kinds they have so far, but um, you can get this for uh, under twelve dollars uh, for the thirty milliliter. So uh, check this out for premium juice. It's pretty uh, decent price. Oh, look at this. Nice. Yeah, so let's try this. Let's go back up. See you back up there, guys. Yeah, we're back. Okay, uh, so you guys are ready to see uh, what, uh, what it looks like. Uh, what the they look like mm, it's pretty freaking cool I really like this build 
this build is very freaking tasty. You guys are gonna really enjoy this. Alright, let's wet this again. And once again, U turn. One of the new flavors that U turn came out with, which is a white hot chocolate. It tastes like after eight. Chocolate mint. Yes. Well, I gave it like uh, for flavors, for price, for uh, freaking overall. This is a nine. And I uh, actually uh, tasted the, the, well, I'm out of it, that's why I can't show it to you guys. Uh, another flavor by U turn called Cucumber Mint. Honestly, I'm not like a fan of mint, but uh, that cucumber mint, hmm. What a liquid, I freaking love it. Uh, when I get some more, I'll show you guys what the bottle look like and mm, it, it tastes so good, you know, like a kind of cucumberish sweet on the way in and uh, minty on the way out, Pff, crazy. Okay, so let's see this. It's on uh, the Velocity RDA and it's at 50 watt for now. And it reads 0 0.23 ohm. Yeah. Amazing. <coughs> Very good, very good vape. <coughs> awesome. So, <coughs> excuse me, guys. A little dry hit. <coughs> okay, so you like this. Uh, you want to see more tutorial like this, advanced tutorials, make sure to subscribe, please. More subscriber I'll have, better the tutorial's gonna be, and um, as you see, if you look at the other video I made, uh, I like to be different and bring new things into vaping, and have you guys try new things, not only juice, mods, builds, and stuff like that just make it something cool so hope you enjoy this see you on the next one and leave some comments share subscribe the most important guys all right peace out